Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Omar Thabit here from Oz Media. And this is the documentary of the second annual Hemtramck vs. Dearborn charity basketball game. First of all, you may have watched the game, but you probably didn't see it like this. You'll get a chance to follow me around the day before and the day of the game. You get to see things like me getting a haircut with my uncle, to having breakfast with my cousin, to the whole behind the scenes interviews with plenty of celebrities, to the actual game, and then the celebration afterwards. We are proud to announce that we were able to raise $15,140 for Yemen, Turkey, and Syria for this charity basketball game. This game was organized by Oz Media and CRSD, so we appreciate everyone that was able to help with this event. We appreciate everyone that was able to help with the recording, that was interviewed, and everything else in between. So without further ado, please go ahead and sit back and relax and enjoy this documentary, beginning with the haircut with my Uncle Eddie. So as you can see here, I'm here with Uncle Ed getting the cut right before the charity basketball game. You know you gotta stop by and get a fresh cut. You know, I just wanna put it out there, Uncle Ed is not my barber, all right? He is not my barber, but I just wanna let you know Uncle Ed still takes care of you. Cause he's Unc, shout out to Unc in the building though. You know, we appreciate Unc. He's actually in the charity basketball game representing Team Hamtramck. First of all, how you been Unc? Everything straight, man? Good, man. Alhamdulillah, everybody's good, family good. Can't complain, man. Alhamdulillah. A lot of y'all know Unc a lot of different ways. You know, Unc the athlete, Unc the fantasy football guy, Unc the Unc. You know, a lot of people know Unc as the Unc. You know what I'm saying? That he ain't just a guy that, specifically for our family as Unc, you know, if you talk to the people in the neighborhood, they know Unc as Unc. Everybody calls Uncle Eddie Unc. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Like, how, how did that happen naturally? Like, it's like you don't even ask for it. It just happens naturally, Unc. Can you tell us how does that, how does that all work? You We're know, trying to take notes. <laughs> We're trying to take notes. You know, it, it started growing up, you know what I'm saying? Having a whole bunch of nephews. You know, I got three sisters, you know, that lived in the U.S. So I had a whole bunch mashallah. of nephews, mashallah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all the other ne all the other little nephews on the block, you know, that they, they, they wanted unk. You know, they, they thought I was a cool unk hanging, you know, taking care of y'all growing up and stuff. So, you know, it was... Uh, well, whoever that was, was a lie. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong impression. <laughs> no, I was messing hey, with You know I got the blaze in my Oh, hand. man. Hey. Happy to hear that you'll be playing for your second year in a row, right, Unc? Yep. Second time? Second time. How was the first one, Unc, for you? Oh, the first one was good. You know what I'm saying? We had a great game. And we came out on top, you know, with the dub, you know? Took care of business. All day. Uncle Eddie's comparison, Antoine Walker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unc, give me a cut. He don't know that he's about to be judged by a lot of people with this cut right now. Hey, son, hey Adam, but first of all, we got his son Adam recording. Shout out to Adam, you know. That's can nice. you pull, can you uh, come over here, man? Make sure he ain't get me, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me know he ain't get me, on, man. man. <laughs> Adam, did he yeah. get me, yes or no, man? Hey, I just want to show y'all Uncle Eddie, all right? Uncle Eddie pulling the Uncle Eddie, okay? I let him know we bringing the camera, so what does Unc do, okay? First of all, got a Michigan State basketball in the back. So check out that Michigan State basketball. Gotta look out for Sparty. But check out his shirt. Still gotta show love for the Ann Arbor Wolverines. Uncle all Eddie. Day, day. Shows love for both teams. That's what Uncle Eddie do. Gotta look out for all nephews and everybody. All day. That's Unc, man. That's Unc for you right there. You know, uh, just overall, I, I love the idea of giving back to Yemen, Syria, and other countries, Turkey. You know, and it, it's, a great, it's a great thing. Um, I love what you guys organized, and it, it, it's just great to give back. You know, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of different countries out there that's that's struggling more than you people know out here. You know what I'm saying? And they don't get enough publicity. So you know, it, it's just a beautiful thing to give back. Spoken from Unc. Y'all better listen. Shout out to Unc. Like I said, we just getting that fresh cut right before the charity basketball game. You gotta get cleaned up. You know, and then we're gonna move on to the next thing. The next thing that we gotta do, inshallah. You ready, dear boy? We coming Friday night. All right, you know, right now, this is the night before the night, the calm before the storm. You know, charity basketball game. I'm about to actually go see 
a uh, couple cuzzos, you know, cuzzos I've always grew up with. You got Abe, you got Joey, uh, you know, Abe, inshallah. Uh, Abe is working at the gas station, so we're about to pull up on him. And then Joey, Joey came from New York to watch this game. All right, Joey don't play around. Joey grew up in Dearborn. Uh, so we're going to definitely be, you know, hanging out with Joey for these next 24 hours. Because he, he kind of got a taste of both cities. He grew up in Dearborn, so obviously we're his cousins. So, you know, us and Abe, he used to always come over our houses and we used to hang out with each other in Hamtramck. So he kind of is like the connection of both cities. So, you know, we're going to get pick his brains, share his thoughts, hang out with Joey. Great guy. Shout out to the Cuzzos. All of them. You know, we love them all. We appreciate them all. So, yeah, we're about to go hang out with him. We're about to see him at Abe's gas station. So we're all pulling up and uh, going to be hanging out with one another. So we're going to see how that goes. It should be a funny and fun time. So we're right here on Ama, about to see the Cuzzo Abe. Uh, first of all, we're at the Valero gas station on Ama. Shout out to Rico. Rico, know what's up, man. Family over there, real talk. Definitely respect my man Rico. Got love for my man Rico. So we're pulling up to my man Abe. Like I said, the Cuzzo Joey's about to come. So welcome me. Follow me. Uh, shout out to my cousin. He's going to have the biggest smile on his face. I'm going to see. Oh, can I get in? What is Paul? What's going on? What up, cousin? What's good, cousin? What's good? What up? Uh, it's Abe right here, you man. Right? Abe in the building up to Cuzzo. Okay, oh, man. Baby. Look at Abe right here, chilling. Thing dog, about to get off with? What I like? know, I know. So we got to real good. Who you with over there? One month? Well, you already know. Whatever's going on. We got a, uh, you know we got a special guest coming through. Joey. Joey. Joey about okay. to come through. So yeah, you know, we want to pull up. I already told you? Yeah. Nah, he's whack, man. Nah. Can come you tell on, you I'm man. coming? Uh, no. Okay. What, today? Yeah. No, nah, he didn't say that. Did he say he was coming to see you today? No. He said he was going to see Ah, up. yeah, yeah. You got the cousin of Joey about to pull up right now, man. You know, we haven't seen him. How long have we seen him, Abe? Good year. Good year? We haven't seen him in like a year. You know he had to pull up for the game. Him Chapman versus Dearborn charity basketball game. You know the cousin in the building. That's that boy Joey! Yo, yo, yo! That's that yo. boy Joey! <laughs> What's good, man? What's up, man? How you been, bro? How you been, man? Looking sharp. Huh? Coming in just for the game? You know it. Just for the game? You know it, baby. You pulled up straight from New York. I flew, I flew all the way from New York, baby, to see this. Hey. Dearborn vs. Hamtramck. All day. Born hey, and raised. It's because of that. It's a waste of time, baby. Let me take it, bro. Who you got, Hey, Who you got? Say it now. Who you got? Baby, back to back. Back to back. What's going on? It won't take you this if I got to right. break ankles. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make it happen? Nah, nah, it's good. Hey, this is Joey right here. It's the Cuzzo from Dearborn. Uh, we adopted him in Amtramic too. So, you know, we're going to be following him around. We're going to be with each other all day, inshallah. Let's do it. Uh, tomorrow, riding around, getting things done. Hey, we, we, we all about this, man. Spread it love. Most importantly, it's all about charity, man. It's all about giving back. For sure. So everybody's a winner. All right, you zoomed in on my man's ears right quick. That's <laughs> his first focus on that. <laughs> That's more. He got the more ear. <laughs> Yo, right here. He 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 the true. He the true citizen of Hamtramck. Yeah, what's that, what's that nonsense you know? you're talking right now? Man? Yeah. What's that nonsense? What are you talking Cause about? Cause growing up, growing up, I had to hold it down. All right, the only Dearborn kid. All right, hanging around with a bunch of Hamtramck kids. Okay, and y'all was talking smack about Dearborn. All right, let me see your ID. Yo, uh, is that Dearborn? What's, that, uh, what's, that, uh, what's uh, that change your address? <laughs> what's that change your address? <laughs> I know something <laughs> about you. <laughs> <laughs> you live in Dearborn and your kids go to a private school. <laughs> <laughs> we take you in. We take you in. That's all we want, man. Huh? We want a yeah. citizenship in both cities. That's all we want. We want a citizenship. Do a citizenship? Dual citizenship. Dual citizenship. Adopted by them, we're not accepted anymore. No That's, That's it? That's it. it. I can't get dual citizenship? No. He's, see all. he's seeking no. asylum. Don't worry, we got you. You know what I'm saying? We just want to make sure, like I said, we have a great game. You know, he's saying I'm, we're, I'm spying yeah, right this now. Is, what what this, is, saying? this was on the news, so it's not just a game. Man. So they're going to tell everybody who won, by the way. They mention it. They mention it, yeah. They're going to mention it for sure. Yeah. Michigan cities are about to engage in some friendly competition in order to help other countries devastated by natural disaster. Ticket sales from a charity basketball showdown between Hamtramck and Dearborn are going to Syria, Turkey, and Yemen. Megan Woods joins us live with how this is all coming together and the difference these communities are looking to make. Megan. 
That's right, Kimberly. So the game is Friday, but today and tomorrow they're doing all they can to get the word out. They want to raise $10,000, but it's not all about the money. They also want to raise awareness and send a message. You know, one person struggles, we all struggle, and this is one thing that we can do to help uplift people all around the world. Last year, there was a Hamtramck versus Dearborn game that raised $8,000 to go to Yemen. They show us videos of like the people when they're receiving like food or they're receiving their housing. <sighs> they're in tears. They're in tears. Like the people are in tears. Uh, they appreciate it so much. And honestly, there's so many people that need help out there. Uh, this is just like a small dent into what really needs to happen. After an earthquake struck parts of Turkey and Syria, killing more than 52,000 people, organizers like Omar Thabit says this year they want to help those countries too. Dearborn Mayor Abdullah Hamoud says it just makes sense. You know, it's no secret that Dearborn and Hamtramck host global communities. A lot of immigrants and refugees uh, reside within our cities. That's what makes us so beautiful. I, I am a son of immigrants. The Hamtramck mayor is an immigrant himself. So this Friday, Hamtramck and Dearborn are playing again, this time at Dearborn High School. And yes, there will be some trash talking. I'm excited for Friday because we have to make a statement it's on our home turf. We lost last year. But no matter who wins, everyone leaves knowing they made a difference. We have, you know, people that live in those communities that are from those countries, so it just means a lot even more. But you don't even have to be from that country to understand that to help out those countries in need. So again, that game is Friday at Dearborn High School at 6. You can get tickets at the door. That's the only way you can get tickets. And the players, they're from a, a 35 and up league. And Mayor Hamoud, he's playing for Team Dearborn. And then Halal Food Junkie, a social media influencer, is playing for Team Hamtramck. So we'll have that info on ClickOnDetroit.com. Reporting live, Megan Woods, Local 4. Like you said, Megan, I'm sure a lot of trash talking, but no losers here. Everybody wins because it's for such a good cause. We appreciate your report today. What's going on, everybody? Today's game day. It's game day today. Hamtramck versus Dearborn charity basketball game being held at Dearborn High School. It's the morning. I know you smell that, Yusuf. I know you smell the dawn, the calm before the storm. It's going to be a great day, inshallah. Looking forward to it. You know, we're about to get some breakfast with Joey. And then we're going to go ahead from there and see where we're at, man. So, you know, going to show you all, follow me around a little bit. You know, we're going to slowly, uh, slowly go on our prayer, uh, watch some Michigan State basketball. And then we're going to start prepping for the game, man. We got a lot of stuff in itinerary today. You know, everybody asks me, what's the hardest part of your day? The hardest part of my day is saying goodbye to these beautiful princesses. So let me go ahead and give them a hug. Serene, come here, girl. Come here, Mila. Can I get a kiss? Serene, can I get a kiss too? Mwah. I love you. I love you. Love you, girls. Goodbye. All right, now let's ride and let's go pick up Joey. So we're about to have breakfast with the cousin of Joey. You already know the cousin. Uh, cousin of Joey. We're actually going to be eating food at Della uh, Coffee and Brunch House, which is one of the many uh, Yemeni American owned coffee places that are in this area, you know, Arab American owned in general too. Uh, a lot of them has opened up in Dearborn over the last few years and uh, they've been doing great, mashallah, man. They all been doing great. So we're definitely about to try breakfast. Good thing about Dela is they have the American and they have the Yemeni. So if you want to go Yemeni breakfast, we're going to eat the Yemeni breakfast. You want the pancakes with the hash browns and eggs and all that, we get that too. So we're going to see what we're going to, see what we're going to get, man, inshallah. All right, all right, I'm looking forward to it, man. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's go. Let me ask you this question. What's your fondest memory of living in the city of Dearborn? Like, what do you, number one thing, if you were going to South been, end, by the way, yeah, South been, end. Been, being kids, man, growing up, playing at the parks, you know, jumping the fence into the pool after, you know, clo closing time. They're cleaning that up, by the way, inshallah, and they're bringing that back. Oh, they're bringing it back? Yeah, man, that was, that, that was like one of the best things, you know, for our community. You know, just summer, summer it, made, it made our summer. Definitely. That, that, that's what made it. Ooh, oh, here comes the food. Here comes the food, ooh. We got the house with you. Hey, we're about to eat. We're about to eat, mashallah. Um, let me ask you this question, though. Yeah. Right? You just gave me fondest memory of Dearborn. Fondest memory of, you know, her traffic. Like I said, you, we adopted. We, we basically adopted Joey. Man. Nah, I wouldn't say you adopted me. I said I, I came in and took over. Mm. 
<laughs> we started the rivalry early. We started early. You know, because, 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 look, in all fairness, in all fairness, like you know, I was the only Dearborn kid, and and I had, you know, I had to show up and show out for Dearborn every time I was in half travel. Whether it was in sports games, whether it was, you know. Just going to the parks, going to whatever. For sure. No, it's Joey. What, what Joey is referring to is the sports that we play. Yeah. We play and, some... and not only that, it's just like you, like you guys introducing me to your friends. Like, oh, who's it? Oh, he's from Dearborn. It's always this is my cousin from Dearborn. Yeah. We had to let him know though. Yeah. So it's like there's jokes. There's a lot of different <laughs> things that can come out. You know what I mean? It had to be. It had to be said. It had to be said. So as you guys know, we just ate some nice breakfast, alhamdulillah, you know, really good from Dela Coffee. Uh, now we've got to get our coffee from Kahwa House, you know, the sponsor, Kahwa House, shout out to Kahwa House. You know, we got to show love to the sponsors. So uh, we're about to get us some nice coffee, again, Yemeni coffee, and then uh, we're going to keep things rolling and then go solve the, uh, uh, the Gum'a prayer. So let's keep it going. You know, to me, the coolest part about coming to places like Kahwa House is to see like the origin story, how Yemen was... Uh, you know, one of the original places right. for coffee. It's not the original place for coffee, you know? So like, Kahu House, the cool thing about them, they kind of show the historic, you know, distribution of coffee, the Arabic coffee. This is the West Dearborn location. They got six locations, you know? What is it? When was the last time you went to Yemen, Joey? Last time I went to Yemen, it was a while ago. How long? How long? Uh, before, it was a long time ago. I'd say uh, over a decade ago. Yeah, it was over a decade ago. Last time we went to Yemen was when we were all there. Exactly, yep. Was it 07 or 08? I think it was 08. 08? We were all there, yeah. Having a good time. Oh, yeah. Not gonna lie, that was some of our, one of my best summers when we went there. <laughs> we had a great time. Cause we had a lot of family fun. there, man. We it was fun. You know, you know, it's funny because everybody would be like, oh my god, like, like, you know, you went to Yemen or you're from Yemen, like, is it scary? Is it dangerous? Is it... I mean, like, yeah, they're, they're, there's parts where they're having conflict and stuff, but, you know, alhamdulillah, for the most part, like, you know, the neighborhoods and communities, they come together. Yeah. You still feel like, you know, it's home and it's, it's safe. And, you know, but there are some hard hit areas. Yeah. You know, we can't, we can't turn a blind eye to that. But, sure. Here at the American Muslim Center, aka uh, Let's Get a Dicks. Let's Get Dicks. That's what we used to always remember as kids. Uh, it's on Dick Street. Uh, so, uh, Alhamdulillah, we just got done saying Gum'a prayer. And uh, now we are going to pretty much go ahead and watch this MSU basketball game. They got a, you know, their first game of March Madness against USC. Hopefully they win that game. And then we're going to go ahead and head to, head to Dearborn High, start setting up. And get ready for the other big game today. Yeah, so watch Dearborn beat Hamtramck tonight. We'll see what happens. Inshallah. We'll see what happens, all right? You know, the Spartans just got the victory. You know how we do it. MSU all day. Go green, go white. Now, just got the Yemen flag. About to head towards Dearborn High right now. Start setting up. It's about to be fun. It's about to go down. I'm telling y'all right now. All right. We're pulling up, Dearborn High. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Dearborn High. Dearborn High. Yeah. Hey, it's the calm before the storm. It's about to go down. Dearborn High School, home of the pioneers. This is what the teams are playing for. Right here, charity basketball game trophy. You know, this is also the MVP trophy. Last year, Muhammad Sufi won it. This year, we're going to see who gets it. Uh, these are the plaques. You know, right here, it says Hamtramck. And this is the Dearborn one as well, right here. You know, it's whoever wants to screw it in, the winner screws it in. Last year, Hamtramck got the win. This year, we're going to see who find out who's the winner. I'm telling y'all, you know when something is too quiet and you know something's about to go down? That's what I feel like right now. I feel like this place is a little quiet. You know there's, it's, it's going to be a little different in a couple hours, all right? So looking forward to this. I'm obviously very biased. Dearborn is going to take this home. Mayor Dearborn is here. Yes, we brought in some key players. We got a bunch of athletes with us. Yes, sir. 
These are folks that should have made the NBA draft but didn't make it, uh, but we have them here. Hamtramck is going down, uh, but most importantly for a great cause to help out people of Yemen, of Syria, and Turkey. Hi, Sam. What's your prediction? Dearborn or Hamtramck? Hey, listen, I represent the great city of Dearborn. Of course, okay. Dearborn. Okay, score prediction. What are you thinking? I think Dearborn is going to win by 10 points. 10 points. That's another big prediction in point, point margin. Wow. Hey. But I'm not going to lose sleep if Hamtramck wins. We're all brothers. We're all brothers, yes. Tell us your game plan. Uh, you know good coaches don't reveal the game plan. Well, we want to know the game plan for the floor. Listen, I, I, we're very curious, honestly, so. I, honestly, the game plan is to raise as much money for Yemen, Saudi, and Turkey. That's the game so. plan. Um, as far as the actual game, um, we're going to play hard. Uh, we are a better team than them. I'm not talking talent. I'm talking team. You know, if I told them to jump, they asked me how high. Really? You got it like that? 100%. Wow. The prediction today, obviously, I'm, I predict a win. Um, I said it on the show, 63-59. Oh, it's close. Yeah. I, I okay. mean, last year I predicted it close too, by the way. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I even wore the same clothes last year. So, so what's the game plan? Let us know. The game plan is to win. We got, to a, win? Lot of, we got a lot of good athletes, good players, and uh, we're going to just... Keep coming at them. We're going to win probably by 12. Tell us, tell us your game plan, Bosh. Man, What's obviously, your... it's pretty simple. Move the ball. No, no, play no. Some, play I, some I defense. Joking. No, it's okay. Okay, okay. okay, go ahead, go ahead. Move the ball, play some defense, and uh, make, uh, make Malahi beat us. Oh, Malahi? Yeah. Okay. Not Faris. Uh, uh, Mo Malahi. Mo Malahi. Okay, what's your prediction to score? I think we win by 20. 20? You hear that, folks? 20 call, points. Call it a landslide. Landslide. So, Bosch says that he's going to have you beat them. Yes. Well, um, how do you feel about that? Um, Bosch, the coach for Dearborn. How do you feel about that? I feel that? great about that. Why? Because I, I woke up this morning, I said in my prayers. Okay, alhamdulillah. And if they're answered through that, uh -huh. then I'm going to go on vacation. But do you know why he said he wants you to beat them? Because, um... I own a, I got a towing company, BMI Towing, but to the best in Oak Park. Very nice. And I did Very a tow, nice I did a tow, I believe we did a tow for him yesterday, so. Did you? And he didn't pay me yet, so I think okay. this is a way of him paying us. So. What's your prediction? Prediction is a close game. Close? Close game. They're saying they're going to win by 20, 12, one guy, the new guy, the ringer says 10. No, I, I think, I think by, by, by the fourth quarter, Tim Dearborn will be arguing at each other so much. Wow. Arguing. That Bosch is going to scream at like four of them. Wow. You know? And they're going to walk up, and then they're going to, it's going to be a little, they're going to call two timeouts, back to back timeouts. I can feel back that. Back to back? Back to back. They're going to be up three, and then they're just going to fall apart. Wow. You know? So bold predictions. Yes. You know when you, when you do Legos, and you get them nice and ready, yeah, 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 yeah. and then your sister comes and goes, da da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. What up, yo? This is Adam Saleh. I'm um, from New York, Yemen. Uh, but we're in Dearborn today, you know, showing love for the charities. I love what y'all doing, man. Seriously, sure. Dearborn is a is an amazing place to be doing this, you know, uh, showing love and support to the people that are in need. You know, a lot of yeah. the media, they don't show that oh, support. I'm going for the, uh, the the League Legends. Oh, no, no, the, 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 the team that the mayor's in. I got you. The team that the mayor's in. Mayor, uh, team Dearborn. Huh? That's Team Dearborn. And the other one is Team Hamtramck? Yeah. Oh, but then the Team Hamtramck got the Yemenis, though, eh? Yes, sir. Oh, damn, you know. My mind is telling me Dearborn, but my heart is saying Hamtramck, so... I mean, it doesn't make sense, you know? Dearborn is going to win easily. Okay. I don't know why they're even coming together at this school to play. So what's the final score? I mean, if they're lucky, like 50 to 40, if they're lucky, if Hamtramck is lucky. Yeah. So last question, how do you feel about this whole event, you know, building for charity? And what are your thoughts on that? I ain't going to lie, this whole event is pretty cool. It's smart. All, all, all BS to the side. This whole thing is good. It's great. I like to see it. Bring the community together, charity, money's going to the right spot, so all that's good too. But at the end of the day, Dearborn's going to win an easy game. I'm loving it. I'm loving the two cities, both uh, predominantly Muslim uh, communities coming together for a great cause. Um, we heard, well, we saw what happened last month in uh, Syria and Turkey, uh, a lot of unfortunate uh, earthquake that happened, and now, alhamdulillah, coming as two communities coming together, giving back proceeds, and also to Yemen as well. You already know, Team Hamtramck. Even though I'm a Dearborn guy, yes, don't screw me over now. He got his brother playing now. He's great. But I'm going Team Hamtramck, I would say 56-52 uh, Hamtramck. Let's go. Let me tell you guys this. The journey game is a win-win for me. All right, Team Dearborn loses. I could rip them a new one. Okay. All right, because okay. they've, they've, they've been talking the Wheel of Fortune, Miss yeah, Fortune. Yeah, yeah. I think Miss you heard Fortune. about that. Yes, I did. You heard about that? that? I did hear about that. So they whined, we gave them what they wanted. So if they can deliver, oh, I'm going to let them have it. They did get, yeah, they did get what they, yeah. On the other hand, we got Nabil, Abdullah. 
He left Dearborn. Yes, he did. To play for the side. That yes, was the other side. Other side, yes. The other side. Um, so, I hope he wins. I hope he wins. Or he ain't coming back to Dearborn. Sure. Why are you playing for Hamtramck and not Dearborn? Uh, Mayor Hamoud threw yes. me out of Dearborn. He threw you out? Like, yeah. literally? I've been like, exiled. Evic evicted? Yeah, and he called my dad. He called your dad? And told him, to, uh, your son's out of Dearborn. Wow, wow. Yeah. So what is your prediction? Every time I cross into Dearborn, there's a cop following me. <laughs> that cop I'm so Adam. scared. That's the Adam. cop. There Adam. he is. Right there. That's the, that, there right he is. There. Robocop. <laughs> He's the one that follows me every time I come to Dearborn. Really? Mayor Hamoud sent him after me. <laughs> I've gotten 17 tickets. So, what's weeks. your prediction? What's your prediction? It's going to be a good game. Everybody's going to play hard, inshallah. Yeah. What is your game plan? We want we to, we at home want to know your game plan. To have more points than the other team when time expires. Stop inshallah. How do, you feel, how do you feel about this game? Uh, I feel great. Okay. You're feeling it? Yeah, I feel great. How's your shot? How, how's your shot? How, how are you feeling? Because we know you're hurt. Allah We're always hurt. At this age, alhamdulillah, just getting up and playing is a blessing. Look at the camera, Habib. Look at the people out there. I want to look at something better looking, so I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the prediction for today? Uh, Dearborn win. Doesn't uh, matter. If, I don't care if it's by one or a hundred. So a win is a win. Okay. But the most important people who are going to win today are the people receiving the money. I just saw two big fellas in the league represent the 35 and over guys. Mm. I watched these two having an interview. I just wanted to uh, uh, photobomb it. That's it, really. Okay, that's it. Well, what's I, your prediction? I don't have any predictions. No predictions. We're going to go out there and play hard. We're going to give the crowd a really, really, really good game. We're going to represent ourselves well. And uh, again, the countries that, that are getting the donations, they're the real winners tonight. Tell how us how you feel today. Great, man. Ready to roll. You ready to uh, roll? Yes, yes. Uh, ho hopefully we keep our trophy home. What's your game plan? The game plan is to go out there and have fun, try to raise as much as money as you can, and take the trophy home. What's your game plan on the floor? The play glass. Oh, the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. What is Easy. it? Easy. 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 <laughs> Execute. Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. Rebounding. You're defending. You're playing zone. You're playing zone. man. No, we can't tell you the secret. <laughs> What's your prediction? Here. Our prediction: Detroit. I mean, Hamtramck is going to take it home. Second year in a row. What are your predictions for this game? I feel like Dearborn's going to win. Okay, they have a really why? Good team. Campbell's a very, very good player. It's going to be hard for them to uh, adjust to his play. And if they try to stop him, then you got Billy. He's a big guy, and it's going to be a hard, I, I hard don't matchup think, uh, for a lot of them. What's your prediction for today? I think Cam Chandler pulls it off. By big or by? I think it'll be a good game. Yeah? I think it'll be, yeah, I think it'll be yeah. competitive. What is your game plan? Like, on the floor. Stop, come at it. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is going to win the charity game? Hamtramck or Dearborn? Hamtramck. Hamtramck. Who are you pointing to? Fujo. Fujo. Wow. Okay. Fujo time. <laughs> He's not really good at basketball, but uh, you know, I try to teach him as much as I, uh, I could. You know what? What's the prediction? What's the prediction? Hamtramck don't have a chance. It'll be 52-30. 52 to 22 points. Yes. I'm always root for the home squad, which is yes, Hamtramck. Sir. It's for a good cause. Everybody is winning, win or lose, yes, especially the people that really needs it, Turkey, Syria, Yemen, where all the proceeds are going there anyway. Alhamdulillah, it's for a good cause, man. It's, it's great to see you, Allah. It's, it's all love. Us, of course. For real? Well, who's us? Hamtramck or Dearborn? Uh, Dearborn. Dearborn. What's the score? Uh, we'll go 65-55. Uh, you know what, man? Alhamdulillah, this is a cause that uh, Oz Media started last year and, um, you know, raised about $8,000. And inshallah, you know, this year we surpass it. Overall, inshallah, I think it's, it's going to be good. You know, we we came out to support Hamtramck and defending their championship. So, uh, you know, it should be a good game. Final score is going to be 58-53 uh, Hamtramck. So you got Hamtramck winning? Of course. We born to race there. It's getting close to score. Probably 40, 50, I'm trying to make... You know what? I still believe we're back-to-back -back champions, baby. Yes, sir. And we're going to come out with this day today, today baby. You know cut, it cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. All love, man. You got to give me a final baby. score, though. Hey. Final score, it's going to be like 51, 45. What's your prediction, Hamtramck or Dearborn? You've seen all the players. Oh. You've seen all the players. You've seen Sufi for Hamtramck, Nabil. Oh, I, I got to go Team Sufi all day. Well, I'm not going to lie. Come out. Goggles. I'm gonna go team Sufi. Sufi is really? undefeated. I, no one can check that man. Sufi is no undefeated. Wow. <laughs> Sufi is that guy. Tell us your prediction, Omar. All right. First of all, shout out to my man Nader over here. Great guy. Uh, always I'm give him back. Help out. You know, I'm we just appreciate him. I know you guys are busy. Yes, for sure. A lot, a sure. lot of things. Uh, a lot of things going on. Yep, here. A lot of things going uh, on. My prediction of a game is gonna be a great game. I hope nothing but the best for both teams. 
and uh, may the best team win. You What's know? your score prediction? That, that's what we want to know. That's uh, what they want to know. Both teams are going to make points. Okay. And both <laughs> teams are going to play. The real winners. The team that scores the most Yemen, in the Turkey, game. Turkey, and Syria. Syria. That's, all, that's all we care about. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And that's, free, that's free, free Palestine, inshallah. There you go. Free inshallah. Palestine. Inshallah. Um, all day, every day. Hey, who's that girl there? We start off with the whole team, Mayor Abdullah Hamoud. So clap it up for Mayor Abdullah Hamoud. Say a few words to the crowd. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, first and foremost, a round of applause to Ask Media and the whole team uh, for this incredible second year in a row of CSRB, CRSD. You know, uh, the whole point of today is really to come together and to show the world that as global communities in Tier 1 pandemic, we know what it means to uplift our families not only here within our cities, but also back home. And so thank you all so much for coming out. We hope it's a special day. And let me hear it one time for Dear Brother. Dr. Khalid, we're going home crying. Now, can we clap it up for Mayor Amir Ghalib, Dr. Amir Ghalib. Clap it up for Dr. Amir Ghalib. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who joined us today on this charity game. And I want to thank uh, OZ Media, Omar Khalid, for, for making and organizing this event. Uh, Half term can hear what we are. Sister cities, or like Mayor Hamoud said, twin cities. We share no geography, but we share history and demographics. We share love, compassion, and care for humanity, and this is the best example for that. Um, Hamdram team, you only have one option to win. If you don't win, three days of community service are waiting for you. Again, thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed tonight. And have fun. Thank you so much. Shout out to Mayor Ghalib. Shout out to Mayor Hamoud. Can we get both mayors in the middle. Can we get both mayors in the middle for this ceremonial tip off? Ceremonial tip off. Can we get both mayors in the middle? Mayor Hamoud is ready this time. Hey. Mayor Hamoud. Alright. Hey, all three, lower taxes. One, two, three, lower taxes.
Here we go. Shot is up. A pass, I mean, I'm sorry. Coach Kimad. Mayor Abdullah Hamad. Stolen. Alright, the score is 26-20. Seven minutes and 23 seconds. Hey, we got box out. Let's do it box out. Hey, you want to go to the game? Hey, 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 hey. Just the third quarter. He promised a thousand dollars. Hey. Green jacket. Green jacket. Alright. Watch out for the green jacket if he starts leaving. Here we go.
be on Channel 4 next year. Well, alhamdulillah, we are uh, officially driving off, driving home. Shout out to Dearborn High School, man, seriously. Much love to Dearborn High School, the home of the pioneers. Game ended, shout out to Team Dearborn, they got the victory. Uh, great game, ended up being close till the end. Billy Buckets, MVP, alhamdulillah for everything. Uh, very thankful for everybody that came out, we appreciate you. You know, we had some cool people that came out too, a couple celebrities that I'm not gonna lie to you, never thought was gonna show up, but they did. Uh, I just wanna end this by saying, we hope that you guys appreciate it. Uh, this was, again, this was a charity basketball game for Turkey, Syria, and Yemen. Uh, inshallah, we gather up all the money, we count it up, and uh, all that money is gonna be donated to them. They are the real winners at the end of the day. Uh, but shout out to Dearborn, shout out to everybody. You know, I love you all. We hope that you enjoyed the journey. It's the end. I'm tired, but alhamdulillah, it's all worth it when you're doing it for a great cause. Make sure you subscribe to Oz Media, especially if you like the video. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Shout out to Yusuf Thabit, by the way, behind the camera. You know, he was behind me with me the whole day. Yusuf T, little big bro, Yusuf T. Everybody at Oz Media, I love you all. Uh, and we hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And peace from the Middle East.